Hey guys, welcome to the video. My name's Hugh and I'm from Home Network Solutions Berkshire. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you how to connect your laptop to the internet using a cable. Um, so it's a pretty simple video. I'm just gonna go through all the details you need to know. And then if you look in the links below, I've put some of the, uh, some of the bits and pieces we'll be talking about in this video, uh, links over to those so you can get them yourself. Right, so um, laptop. And then obviously this is the cable. So let's just briefly talk about the cable. Cable like this has many different names. It's an ethernet cable basically, but sometimes it's called a data cable, a network cable, a LAN cable, internet cable. So I've heard people call it computer cable. Sometimes it's called by its uh, category type. So cat five, cat six, cat seven, whatever it is. But essentially they're all the same thing. Um, basically these little cables like this with a little clip like that and they have eight individual wires in them or cables in them and uh and that's four pairs so uh that's that's an ethernet cable and what we're trying to do essentially is get this laptop connected to your internet via your router so your router might not look exactly like this but it's they're all kind of fairly similar in their layout normally so uh on the back of the router normally there's some little plugs like this and that's what you're going to be plugging this cable into um, they will say well often they're yellow or orange like these ones um, but what they normally say though, I don't know if you can see that uh, if it focuses is they'll say LAN or LAN and that stands for local area network so that's what you're looking for you want to get your cable connection into one of those and then from there into the laptop so don't, if you sometimes when you read you get one that says WAN, don't use that one, that's wide area network, that's for connecting the internet in rather than internet out, if that makes sense. Okay, right, so once you've got that, you just literally plug it in like that. So that's your router, you're in, plugged in, and this can now give you internet, this cable. But one of the things you'll find with laptop is, with many modern laptops, is there's nowhere to plug that cable in there's no physical connection between the laptop and the router that you can actually put it into some computers do still have them some laptops still have them desktops will often have them nearly always desktops will have them but laptops often don't so um you might have like on this laptop i've got a hdmi and i've got a usb and a USB C. none of those are very helpful if you're trying to connect this so let's just quickly um, talk about the difference between a USB and a USB-C. I've got a cable right here. I two seconds. Oh, here it is. Right. Um, so this is a USB, and this is a USB-C. USB-C. Sorry. So USB-C is like you'd have on an Android phone as a charger, or the new iPhone 15s. They've got these uh, USB-Cs here, and then this is like the bigger one. That's the sort of standard USB, and those are the most common ones to have on a laptop. And either of them can be used to get this connection from the router to the laptop. So basically, what you need is you need an adapter like this. So this is for a USB. Obviously, we've got the big one. And then at the other end, it's got a little adapter bit and an RJ45 socket there. So that allows you to then plug that into, into there and then you put that into your laptop and you'll get that connection. So that's what we're looking for. Um, I've put some links into these. The key for this bit is if you want to get a really fast connection is to have um, is to get a gigabit one. So it has to be a gigabit one. Um, you might find that you don't have any USB big ones like this. So you have to get one with a USB-C on it, which is absolutely fine. You'll also get some that are like multi-purpose. So like this one's a multi-purpose one. So it has got that RJ45 or that data connection there to allow you to plug this cable in, but it also allows you to do other things. So this one's a HDMI for a screen. It's got, um, you can plug in some SD cards for like memory and stuff like that. It's got some extensions of normal USB. So it's multi-function, but the key one for the internet is this one here, the RJ45. So that's what you're looking for. Um, there's many different brands. Amazon have got hundreds of them. You should be paying about 20 pounds. I suppose that's about $25 in the US. Um, they come to right random names, like I've never heard of U Green, but they always have a random name. Um, there are some big brands like TP-Link, etc. Like they do their own brand, so you can get those ones as well. But that is all you need. Now, once you've successfully connected your cable to uh, the adapter, and then that's gone into your laptop, you should see this little bit at the end, these two are lights and they should light up and that signifies that you've got a connection to the router. So once you see those lights, as I'll show you kind of here, um, 
that's what you're looking for that shows you've got connection and then in your computer screen it should automatically connect so if you've got a uh, windows machine you should, should see this in the corner um, and basically that means that you've got that cable connection that's it it's working and you're good to go if you're having to mess around too much then it's probably not right it might be that you've got the wrong adapter make sure that you get one that is suitable for either a windows machine or if you're using a mac a mac linux will probably use both so that is that i hope that's uh i hope that's been helpful um if you've got any questions then please put them in the comments below and uh i'll try and answer them and if there's enough for the same type of question then we'll do a video on it Thanks very much for watching. Uh, please do subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thanks.